Hey guys, Iggy here again with Dragon Blogger reviewing the E-Tech City DT8550 infrared thermometer. These things are pretty cool. I've always wanted one. Today I have one reviewing it for you guys. Um, very accurate readings. Anywhere from negative 43 uh, Fahrenheit to 1,200, I'm sorry, 1,022 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I mean, I would assume anything would melt coming near that, but either which way. Um, turns off, auto shuts off in about 15 seconds. That's a nice little feature. It's got a low battery indicator. Uh, if the low ba if the low battery is there, it's idle. 15 seconds, it shuts down. It gives you more time. It takes a 9 volt battery. So the 9 volt battery itself is 14 hours. The auto shut off is going to help you there because it's going to make those 14 hours last. It's got a red laser pointer for precision checking of the temperature. So it's got a 12 to 1 ratio on that. So let's open it up. All right. So pretty plain looking white box. Again, I'm a big fan of these kind of boxes. They don't cost much. So because of that, you guys don't have to pay too much. So, ooh. all right, that's empty. So it brings the operation man, uh, manual, so it's got some good stuff in here. Take a picture of this and post it for you guys. Kind of tells you how to use it, the specifications, quick, quick start instructions, all that good stuff. So I'll put this away and again I'll take a picture for you guys so you guys can see it. And here's a... I don't know if this was supposed to be in here, but kind of showing you a, a uh, advertisement for uh, a mouse, which I've reviewed actually, the M555. You can find it on dragonblogger.com. And actually, maybe this was supposed to be here. It's a 20% off coupon for this mouse. And for the M535, I haven't tested that one. But that's kind of cool. All right, so here's my gun. Well, it actually is a gun, but it's a nice little uh, leather pouch, or not leather, but material feels good. And here's the gun. So, kind of some nice little feature you can put on your belt. Pretty cool. So, here is the infrared gun. Open it up, and you find yourself a sealed 9-volt battery. So, let's open it up. Alright, get rid of that, and let's plug this guy in. Plugged in, then you just slide it in here. Oh, okay, so it has here, and I'll take a picture of it too so you guys can all see it. Right here is a little foam padding, so this little battery stays in there nice and tight. So put it in. Push against that foam padding and slide it in. That battery's not coming out. It's kind of cool. Seal it up, and you got yourself a nice little gun. I just shot the table, and it's 22.9 degrees Celsius. So we'll go ahead and move that over to Fahrenheit. All right. So you gotta press it and hold it. So it's 73.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice little table there. Through the magic of editing, I'm going to have two cups of water right in front of me. Did I see that? I was right there. So I'm thirsty, but I don't know which one to drink. Typically, I would just put my hand on them and, ah, oh, my hands are burning, or, hmm, let's drink it. I don't know, I can't tell. We're not talking about making sense here. We're not talking about logic. Just the gun and how it works. So I don't know which one to drink. Because of this, I do now. Mind you, there's a billion and one uh, ways to test this, and I'll put those on video, too. 
make you laugh, make you cry. It's a soap opera. It's good. So, which one is cold, which one is not? Again, don't use logic right now because you might see it. I don't. I don't know which one's cold, which one's not. So, I'm going to press this little guy, and I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little laser there indicating that that's what I'm hitting. So that's pretty cool. So I am 92.1 degrees on the surface. So that's my inner heat and then the cooling from the outside. So not exactly 98.6, but that lets you know at the surface how cold or hot I am, what my temperature is. So now I'm going to see This one looks good. So let's see if it's cold or hot. Uh, 140, 143 degrees Fahrenheit. That might not, that might be hot. I don't know because I, I, I don't know temperature. Higher is bad. Lower is good. So, let's see what this one is. Sixty-two point one degrees Fahrenheit. Looks like I might want the. I want hot water or cold. Let's try it one more time, one more time. So this number went down a little bit. To 140.1. Maybe because it's been sitting there for a little bit. And let's try this one. 62 degrees. Let's try this one again. One thirty nine point seven. Sixty two point one. So definitely I want to drink this one. No. All right. So you guys are telling me to drink this one. I'm going to be mad. Oh, this one feels cool. So, if I knew degrees, if I knew temperature, this would have helped me. But I don't. But I do know that a lower number is better to drink. And a higher number is no good. So I'm going to drink the cooler one. Nice and cool. So now, ah! Don't touch the higher number. It's not good. So anyways, very cool gun from E-Tech City. The, well, this one says ETC 8550, so E-Tech City, but it's the DT 8550 from E-Tech City. Has a great price. The, lo the further away from something you are, the less accurate the reading's gonna be. You know, just like the further away you are from a book, the less you can read, so. The closer you are, the more accurate. Let's see. This is not this is not waterproof. Or I assume it's not waterproof. So when I say the closer you are, the better it's gonna read. Doesn't mean dip it in the water and boop. Because it may not work afterwards. So pretty cool stuff. Um I've always wanted one of these. It's affordable. I could have gone out and bought one, but I want it really bad. And I forget about 10 minutes later that I actually want it. So I have one now. You guys can have one too. And you'll hear a little bit more from me very soon. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.